The earliest pioneers to settle in what is now the town of Wheatland began arriving as early as 1789. Land agents encouraged them to clear their fields and grow wheat to pay their mortgages and rents. The rich soil was well suited to wheat, and farmers made a profit selling it to local mills. Wheatland was formally established in 1821. Growing wheat and milling and shipping flour were the main economic activities here and in the rest of Monroe County as well. Then came the canals, the Erie Canal in 1825, the Genesee Valley Canal soon after, and the railroads. These new transportation networks crisscrossed the state, bringing western New York wheat to the rest of the nation and the world. By 1838, Rochester was the largest flour-producing city in the world, and Monroe and Livingston counties soon became the biggest wheat-growing regions in the country. In the 1840s and 50s, you could taste Wheatland flour in pastries made by the leading bakeries of London and Paris. But the good times didn't last. In the last decade before the Civil War, settlers began growing wheat in the vast agricultural lands of the American Midwest, creating a competing market. There were crop diseases and five consecutive bad harvests from 1855 to 1859. It was the beginning of the end for Genesee Country Wheat.